In this last lesson, we will be learning about proper CPR for infants. CPR for children and infants is almost identical. An infant is considered any child less than the age of one. When administering chest compressions, push hard and fast, just as you would in a child or adult, and perform the following actions. Place the infant on his or her back on a firm and hard surface. Remove any clothing away from the chest. Place two fingers of one hand on the breastbone just below the nipple line. Push straight down approximately one and a half inches at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute. And let the chest recoil to its normal position after every compression. Giving breaths during CPR can save the infant's life. Like children, many cases of cardiac arrest in infants are primarily due to respiratory problems. A good breath will cause the infant's chest to rise. To open the victim's airway, put one hand on their forehead. Place your fingers on the bony part of their chin and gently tilt the head back while lifting the chin. To give breaths, hold their airway open as above. Take a deep breath and seal your mouth around the victim's mouth and nose. Blow for one second and watch their chest rise. And repeat with a second breath. If your mouth is too small to cover both the nose and mouth, give breaths through the infant's nose while holding their mouth closed. CPR, including giving breaths, is generally safe. If a mask is available, it should be used. The mask fits over the infant's mouth and nose. Follow these steps when using a mask to give breaths. Place the mask over the victim's mouth and nose. Open their airways by performing the head tilt chin lift maneuver. Ensure a good seal between the mask and their face. Give a breath over one second and watch the chest rise. Deliver a second breath. Here's some information on calling EMS and 911. Always be sure the scene is safe when approaching the victim. Determine responsiveness by shouting and tapping. An unresponsive infant will not move when you touch them. They won't cry or make any sounds, and their body will be limp. Yell for help and send someone to call 911. If you are alone, begin five cycles of CPR before calling 911. Let's put this all together. Infants have breathing difficulties more often than they have actual heart problems. For that reason, it's important to begin CPR quickly and get additional help. One set of CPR consists of 30 compressions and two breaths. When the help returns, have them follow AED prompts, apply pads, and help with CPR. Unresponsiveness and no breathing or only gasping equals CPR. Follow these steps when delivering infant CPR. Make sure the scene is safe. Tap and shout to determine responsiveness. Yell for help. Check breathing. If not responding, breathing, or only gasping, give five sets of 30 compressions and two breaths. Call 911. Resume CPR and give compressions and breaths. Choking is a preventable cause of death that occurs when food or another object becomes stuck in the throat. Infants will often put small objects in their mouth, and severe choking requires quick action. Immediately perform back slaps and chest thrusts. Here is a chart which can be found in your manual. Please study this chart for more information on choking in infants. For choking relief in infants, follow these steps. Hold the infant in your lap. Put the infant face down and their head lower than their chest. They should be resting on your forearm. Put your forearm on your thigh. 
Support the child's head and neck with your hand, and be sure to avoid pressure on their throat. Give five back slaps between the child's shoulder blades with the heel of your hand. Using both hands and arms, turn the child face up so they are now resting on your other arm. This arm should now be resting on your thigh. Provide quick chest thrusts using two fingers. If the obstruction is not relieved, turn the infant face down on your other forearm and repeat the process. Continue until the infant begins to breathe or becomes unresponsive. If you can see a foreign object in the victim's mouth that can easily be removed, do so. Avoid blindly sweeping. If the infant stops responding, place the victim on a firm, flat surface and yell for help. Check for breathing and begin CPR. After 30 compressions, open the airway and look for a foreign object. If visible, remove it and attempt to ventilate with two breaths. If the infant does not respond, continue CPR until help arrives. This concludes the final lesson in CPR and first aid.